Hello, this is Dixie Cravens with DC Papercraft here to show you how I put together my glittered mistletoe bokeh card for Christmas. And I am using um, cardstock weight vellum for the bokeh dots and snowflakes and then just glitter paper. And this is what the kit looks like. It comes with three cards, three envelopes, and three separate packages of the dots and snowflakes, one for each card. Um, and you're going to need a really good liquid adhesive. I love glossy accents. And so the card has already been um, stamped with the message. And the first step is to glue down the glittered mistletoe branch. And I do apply the glue with a light hand, but I really want good coverage because I want every part of this to stick down. So I'm just, um, with the glossy accents, you have a little bit of open drying time. And I am just working quickly to get just little dots of adhesive because that's all it really takes with this adhesive. And then I'm going to carefully place it onto my card, trying to avoid covering up the sentiment. And so I've got it running off the top there just a little bit. And I'll just cut that off in a minute once I get the branch stuck down well. So spend your time pressing it down, making sure that it's all stuck down. And I had a couple of pieces kind of pop back up and so I just applied a little more glue because I really do want it to stick down otherwise it might pop some of the um, vellum circles off later. And here I'm just going to turn the card over and trim off that excess piece and I am ready to start adding the dots um, and so you have three sizes of vellum circles a large medium and small and then four or five snowflakes and I find it easier to place the large dots because they're kind of the base of this and so I'm just kind of placing them randomly but I don't want anything kind of in straight lines going vertically or horizontally. I just want good coverage and I am absolutely putting it on top of the glittered branch. That's kind of the way the, the bokeh seems to be um, concentrated on your focal point. So think about that when you're placing these down. The, the focal point is the glitter branch and so the dots are going to be concentrated on that. And so I've, I've placed the large ones. I'm coming back with the medium ones. Um, you do want some of them on top of others. That's just the way the bokeh happens in um, naturally with the light. And so don't try to spread everything out on a, in a single layer. They should be stacked on top of each other. Um, and I'm just trying to fill in the spots and get, again, keeping in mind that I don't want straight lines happening. And once I get all of the medium ones down that I want, then I'll start with the small ones. And again, I will fill in with any areas that look a little bare and again go right back on top of some of the large and medium dots with those small ones. And it almost, it almost works better if you just kind of sprinkle it on there. Not quite, but there's so many of those little dots. You can almost just sprinkle them on there and then start to mess with them from there. And you might be thinking, why am I not gluing it down? Well, because I like to kind of fuss and play with it a little bit. And then when I'm happy with the way that it looks, then I'll glue it down. And I'll show you a really um, easy trick for gluing it down. Let me get the last few dots on the card here. And I like the vellum because you can see through it. So you still pick up the gold glitter and it's still pretty. But it gives it a really kind of, I don't know, winter ethereal look. The, with the gold and the white. So I've got my last dots on and looking at where I might need to readjust things. And then you can either use tweezers or I have this um, pick-me-up stick so it's got a little bit of a sticky um, end on it and this is perfect, perfect for this. So I'm just going to pick up, sometimes several of them come up together. I'm going to pick them up. I'm going to put a dot of glue and try to center my vellum circle on that dot of glue. And yes, the adhesive is going to show through, but when it's all dry, you'll see it just adds to that bokeh effect. It just adds another layer of circles. And so I think it's really cool. You could use a vellum adhesive if you wanted, um, but this is easy and I think it doesn't detract from the look at all. And then after you've got all the circles glued down, go back and glue down your snowflakes. Um, I do put a little more glue on the snowflakes because I really want them to stick down as much and not be loose on the edges. And again, I tried to be careful not to place them in straight lines. 
and um, I really like the look of one of those snowflakes down there by the sentiment. It just kind of draws attention to it. And what you'll notice is as the adhesive is wet, your circles kind of um, pull up and cup, but they will lay flat once the adhesive dries. So don't worry about that. They will lay flat, I promise. Well, this is Dixie with DC Papercraft.